hey everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is just a natural glam be you know something to go out with if you don't want to do too much please remember to like comment subscribe share there will be more videos coming weekly tutorials all of that stuff last week you know i did this face for my q a and i told y'all i will come back this week with a tutorial of this face so here it is so I like to do one eye before I do the other for whatever reason when I'm doing my makeup. I just feel like I can kind of see what I'm doing better as a visual of what to do on the next eye. So eyebrows, one eye already done, but the tutorial is still in motion because I'm gonna show you how to do this eye and just do whatever I do on this eye on both eyes. So of course I'm gonna use my Pro Conceal Fawn LA Girl. <laughs> I already know the vibes, but I'm using this to prime my eyelids. I realized I didn't have my mirror, so I had to go get it. So today I'm using the Morph palette. Um, it is the Bronze Goals palette. I love this palette. It's a little, a little messy, just a tad. But yes, so I'm gonna start off with this shade. The shade names aren't actually in this palette, so that's the shade I'm using. And I'm using my Coastal Scents number nine brush and I'm going to take this and I'm just going to pack that color into my crease as my base color because y'all you know I'm cutting creases as you can see in this eye I'm good for cutting creases so pack that dark brown color into the crease So after that um, dark brown is nice and packed into the crease, I'm going to take the next shade right above it, the lighter shade, and that's going to be kind of like my transition shade in a way. I'm using the Coastal Scents 11 brush. This is when that blending comes in, y'all already know. Blend these two colors in the middle. Blend them together and transition into, I see it. And, transition that color okay now that that is all you know transitioned and blended and all of that good stuff i'm going to take the lighter shade well actually it's not the lightest shade but a lighter shade than what i've been using this one right here and i'm going to use it at the top now being that my concealer is around the same color as this shadow it's not going to show up too much but it's still going to be enough to have that fade effect I'm just gonna add that on top while still blending it into my transition shade. And that shade is just gonna go right at the top under the brow. Now, sometimes my blending gets a little too crazy and I lose the colors. So there's nothing wrong with going back and defining those colors that may have gotten lost a little bit because that does tend to happen. So, but make sure you're still blending them together so it's not just colors stacked on top of each other because that just looks crazy. If you follow my Instagram, you know that this is the only concealer I use to cut my creases. This is Revolution Conceal and Define in shade C3. And I also use C2 from time to time, but C2 and C3 are the only shades and the only concealer that I use to cut my creases. Um, most, of, most of the time I use bright colors on top of the cut creases so I, of course I need like a lighter concealer shade so those colors pop up and I'm using Coastal Scents brush 8 it's a flatter brush and I'm taking it and I'm just going to put the concealer on the brush like so cutting creases took me a while and that's another reason why I always do kind of like one eye before the other so I can match the crease make sure it's as close as possible to each other I kind of start from the edge and tap it so those lines are as defined as possible and straight as possible. And just kind of draw that oval shape or that, what would you call this shape? It's not even an oval. Um, I guess it's upside down, see, or it's not even upside down. What is this? This shape, arch shape, that what it is. Draw the arch shape, guys. Jesus.
this is what the end result of the crease looks like um there's nothing really wrong with a messy crease on the outside edges especially when you're doing like a inside fade look um but you want to make sure that the top of the crease is always as defined and as curved as possible depending on your liking to make sure the difference between that dark shade on the outside of the crease and whatever colors you're putting on the crease have that difference you know what i'm saying i want to take my same brush that i used for my first shade and i'm going to put it on the outside corners on both the inside and the outside of my eyelid fading that into the crease And so notice that I didn't go too far into the center of where I cut my crease because now I'm going to add that second shade, not the first, not the top shade, but my transition shade with the same brush that I used for that shade. And I'm going to put it closer to the center and of course blend them two colors together. So this is what your eye looks like now. So, liner. I know I'm using my Black Epic Ink Liner by NYX Cosmetics. I actually need to get some more because I'm low key, high key running out. So it's not gonna be as black, it's more like a gray. But we're still gonna make it work. So starting at the back corner of my eye, draw that line up, connect it. Fill it in and then draw. See, because I'm running out, it's not going on as smooth as I need it to, but it's still doing the job. Oh, but believe by next video, I should have a new one because. Now for the lashes, um, these lashes that I'm wearing and using today, I love these lashes. This is the container they came in. I'm gonna tag my friend below or tag him in this little area. Y'all, hair, lashes, bomb. I ordered a wig and I will be, you know, popping up on here soon with that wig. Probably do a little install video. But I ordered the hair and with it came some lashes. So order some hair, get y'all some bomb lashes, some bomb hair, period. So I use the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive. And as y'all saw in my eyebrow and lash tutorial video, y'all already know how it goes when putting these bad boys on. So I'm just putting this glue on this lash. And I'm gonna sit it down and let it dry for a little bit. Now, while that glue is drying on the lash, I'm taking the NYX Vivid Brights liner. I was trying to find the extra, oh, liquid liner, found it. In the color Vivid Sapphire. And I'm gonna take this and put it at the top of my crease to add a little pizzazz to this natural situation. And a steady hand is key, which sometimes I don't have, but a steady hand is key to all liners. So moment of silence. What helps me with doing liners is resting my pinky on my cheekbone and then taking my hand around it while still resting. It kind of helps me balance it a little better. And so you want to make sure that color is in between the two dark shades, starting where the dark shade starts and then ending where this dark shade starts on the other side. Now that this lash is a little dry, just a tad, a little bit more. Of course, I'm just going to place it on top of that liner, boom, use my fingernail to put it back in the back, boom, and there we have it. Now that the eyes are done, let's get into this face, okay? You already know I'm using Master Prime 400 to prime this face. As far as foundation, concealer, and contour, Fit Me Shade 335, of course, Pro Conceal, LA Girl Fawn. 
and then L'Oreal foundation stick in shade Chestnut. All of that I just did is probably my favorite part of doing makeup. The contour, the concealer, and out onto the baking with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. I gotta dampen this brush up a little bit. Get a little dampen a little bit. And then press it into that skin, honey. And now I'm going in with my contour palette, Fit Me Poreless Powder in the shade Mocha. And I'm just gonna put that in the areas of where my contour was placed, that darker shade. Now I'm going in with my blush using the e.l.f. blush palette, this shade. And of course, if you like blush, go crazy. If you don't, don't go crazy. But blush definitely adds a little pop of color to the face. So I'm gonna do the highlight after I um, spray the setting powder on my face. I'm gonna move on with to the lips. I'm using the Giordana pencil in shade Natural Toupee. Yes. To line my lips. Whoops, wrong side. So I'm just gonna line my lips. I don't overline my lips just because I don't. We're not gonna get into that. I literally line them perfectly with my actual lips. And then I use, I'm using the MAC Cosmetics, you know, little bullet lipsticks in shade Kind of Sexy. This has been one of my favorite lip glosses by MAC for years. Kind of Sexy and Ruby Woo. Those are the top two of mine. So I'm just gonna place it in the middle of that liner. And then, Now I'm gonna spray with my matte finish in my X setting spray. And I wanna use my Coastal Sense Highlighting Brush number five to highlight these cheekbones and this nose and all of that. So I'm just placing that highlight. I know y'all see that highlight. <laughs> placing that highlight right there. And right there bottom of my nose. I don't like to do all the whole nose, all the lines and stuff. So yeah. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. They're about to start coming weekly now. Very excited to bring you all more content, more tutorials, more everything. Stay tuned. Come back next week. <laughs>